What's going on today everybody? Hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I am. I'm out here working on the Audi again and I'm trying to chase down this K-line to ground issue that I'm having and I think that I finally found it. So I've gone underneath the dash, the OBD, and gone ahead and take apart all the K-line connectors and I found the one that's to ground. You just hook them all or hook something to ground to your ohm meter to ground and then you'll find out which one is grounding if you have a grounding issue. So I've done that, isolated the line that I've had problems with and I've used my scanner to scan to figure out what modules I actually have. So with the scan tool we have these modules that pop up and here's all the numbers for them 1, 3, 8, 7, 15, all those modules those are the numbers that are connected to the car. So this is what we have. This is what checks out when we took that one out from underneath the car and uh, isolated it away from everything. We could actually connect to our OBD. These are the ones that we have. Now these are the also additional options that cars can have, like different um, uh, base, like the base model and premium and di different stuff like that. They all have different stuff. Like this one doesn't have navigation, so it didn't pop up. This is what popped up on the uh, code reader. Now these are the additional ones that I noticed when I was going through the car, the scanner was trying to connect with these modules. So that means that these are options, but not necessarily in the car. Now I'm trying to find out which one is grounding, so these ones are all good. So I don't need to check any of these ones. I just need to check these ones, which one's going to ground. Now transmission control module might be one that we have. Um, it's a manual transmission. So it might be one that we have, so we, that's one that we need to check. Navigation, it doesn't have navigation. Never has, never will. So navigation, we know we don't have. Now headlight regulator, that's another one we might have. Now the radio is really common for a lot of people and it's behind the dash of the radio. I've already gone ahead and checked it against and found which wire it is and it actually is fine. I made sure that it's not connected to the radio and the K line right there is okay. So we go ahead and go to the battery regulation. Now I don't know which one this one was so I was gonna save that for last. Parking assist you can check on the back of your car see if it has little little dots to make sure but this one doesn't so no parking assist the radio is not the problem and navigation is not the problem. Now we're down to three. I read somewhere that the headlights are the problem. This number 55, headlight regulation. And that's because it actually sits towards the back of the car. So I've got the whole back of this car tore apart and the subwoofer is actually sitting right here. There's our sub, it's sitting back here. It actually sits in here like this. So we've gone ahead, we've taken the subwoofer out, and I've felt back here, and there's a little module. Now I've unbolted it, and I've been doing some tests to figure out what it is, but here is the, the culprit that I'm having problems with. And I checked it, it's actually this, um, if we pull it out of this connector, this red piece comes out of here, it might not happen one-handed. Anyways. We pulled that connector out, we've checked everything, and now, so I pulled the connector away from this board and had it hooked up to the one lone wire that I had over here. Had it hooked to that, and then I just checked ground against this bolt right here, because this is grounded, and it was fine. But as soon as I plugged the module in, that wire was grounded. So that means that this module is grounding itself somewhere in here. So we'll have to get a new module. This module is very kind of hard to get to. You can kind of get your hand into it, but there's two 10 millimeter bolts right there that are holding it in. And it's not very waterproof. This has the case off of it because I was trying to clean it to see if it would work, but it unfortunately is not going to work for me. So I'm gonna have to get a new module and put a new one in. Now here's a better look at this module. You can kind of see it's got a little bit of gunk on it and that's with me cleaning it. This back side right here 
was really bad. This whole side of the board was just corroded and you can still see that on this first pin, it's got some corrosion. Now this, this bottom row right here, second pin over is our K-line. That's the one we're having problems with. And then the very end ones over here that are connected top to bottom are ground. So I've checked with here, within here, and it's still grounding itself somewhere in this board. I don't know where it's grounding, but it is. So this has a little black cover that goes over it, but there's the inside of everything, trying to clean it. Cleaning it didn't work, so we're gonna go ahead and buy a new one. Here's the outer case with all the part numbers on it, on this one at least. And you can see it was pretty gross in there. And that's what our problem is, is right on the middle of that is where our K-line goes. So it's been grounding out for a while. Here's it all put back together. We've got both sides in. I'm just gonna temporarily put this one back in to hold all the parts. And so it doesn't arc on anything else, but you can kind of tell those seams really don't do much. It's real thin plastic, you can pull it up with your fingers. But yeah, we'll go ahead, put this back in the car and get a new one ordered. Oh, it's really, really hard to get to. And it actually goes underneath this plate right here. There you go, now you can see the module back there. And the red wire will just plug right in. There's two 10 millimeter bolts on each side. There it is, we've got our subwoofer in. It has four Torx bits, one, two, three, and four. And then after that, that piece is last, but this piece pops in right here, and then this piece will go over the subwoofer right in the middle, and that'll be it.